while, huh? 34 medium tanks? Why not? You're taking up a lot of the north. There's a lot of neutral German states. I mean, I understand, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it. I wish they would join our faction. I guess it's better they, they're neutral than they join, uh, join our enemies, huh? How long until you actually get here? Go towards Molensk. I want you to... When are you out of there? 19 hours? Okay. Move here next. Next managed to take that city as well. Or at least that province, which is nice. Who are we still fighting down here? Just Transcaucasia. They, they don't want to give up. But there's a lot of units just trapped in the Caucasus right now. Okay, we didn't manage to take uh, anything I wanted to, unfortunately. And also, there's some Italian division deploying themselves into Scanland, which is not a major surprise. Two units here, huh? Two units. And we only have like 20 more days as as Hungary here before we have to switch. The ring is fallen. That is okay. Wait, no, it's probably not. Actually, I don't know if it's okay or not. They don't even know what faction they're a part of. Yeah, but Poland is mostly uncapitulated. All anybody who's not in the war. I actually, hold your position for the moment. Because you'll take, take so long to get anywhere. Kind of like one of our big issues. But what we actually want to do is just connect everything by railroad. Get more railroads like this. You guys look like you're mostly okay. We do need to take uh, Antwerp. 100%. Are you over here? I think they're five. That's probably too much on this front. Let's put two of you on that side. That side of the map for now. Yeah, we just need Antwerp. We, tell, we take Antwerp, the Dutch are dead. Not, not that I think the Dutch are really providing too much here. I mean, they're three boats. Three boats isn't nothing. Still alive, huh? Two days, five hours. It's, it's not that long. It's not that long. But what about you? I could maybe kill Ryland. Plus Taney has capitulated a second time. Fantastic. That'll at least allow... Okay, you're, you're still cut off a little bit, but not by too much. I mean, right now, it would definitely say 12% in favor of the aggressors. Absolutely. There's no denying that. One day, Arbadil's capitulated. Arbadil is you. Who was in our faction, unfortunately. Armenia is actually making a bit of a comeback. How sad is that? How is uh, Luxembourg? You're dead. I mean, we don't even own the Moor anymore, so this is not as important as it once was. I would like more blue army troops down south. Oh, Scott. This state, for some reason, is is this a Scottish core? It's an English core. Yeah, Scotland just has a claim over this, this state for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh, you're not dead. How much more does Belarus need to take? Are they exactly, they're exactly at a 20 out of 20? Okay, cool. 
So one more city from them should get the kill. Actually, we need this city. We need one of our allies to take that. That would be very nice for us. Yeah, do another push here. Ramia is doing okay. Do I want to take... I'm going to take you off of here. Again, not that it matters so much. I'm pretty sure as soon as we uh, peg switch, the AI is going to completely abandon everything, all of our lines. Which could just lead to the war dragging on even further, which would be kind of funny. If I can connect you guys together... Should kind of resolve that issue a little bit. Because the fact that this is kind of like isolated from the rest of the Revanche's pack kind of breaks the AI a little bit. But we can just connect it. Sh I mean, shouldn't be hard. I mean, like, at this, at this point, I would say the Democratic Front is really just not having a good time. They basically, they've been kicked out of Europe. It's really just India keeping up the fight. Actually, that's not true. I say that. But really, for the most part, it's game, the game, game. It's okay, game's not crashing. I mean, it's, it's mostly actually like the new world. It's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of oomph in it. Let's just put it that way. The Dutch aren't dead yet, but they're so, so, so close. So, so close. And once you guys arrive, why don't you guys push in as aggressively as you can? We still owe an Orsha. Can I get a unit over here? I actually want to go in from that direction. I mean, it's a, it's a little unorthodox, sure. But I guess if it works, it works, right? If it works, it works. Okay. But who are the major factions? Who are the major countries in our faction? It's China, Byzantium, Hungary, Tataria, Poland, Austria. Did Poland un... Oh, the Poland's actually uncapitulated themselves. Good work, Poland. Right now, you only have 31 divisions, but hopefully you can uh, resolve that eventually. Okay, I think Burgundy's going to die a second time, unfortunately. That's fine. It's it's what's expected, right? Like we kind of we kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay, there's Belarus dead. Absolutely fantastic. Again, Lithuania is in the Revanches pack, which is important to note. And all these units in here are just going to get their ass handed to them. I mean, in Europe, democracy doesn't exist. I mean, it does in a couple of small states, but not in the states that matter. But it's now January 1st, 1937. So it's time for us to do a little bit of a reroll. Who be next? So we've done Hungary. Get them out of here. Follow them up with... We're going to roll from one to five. Generate five. That places us with Japan. We will tag switch as Japan. Wait, I don't think it's actually at war. No, they're doing their own. They're doing their whole different thing. But of course, we're fascist. It makes sense. Actually, what I'm going to do, just because I think I don't think they should have made a faction in the first place. Also, my faction. Oh, it's Lao. Okay, yeah, kick from faction. I'm just going to dissolve my faction. And then I'm just going to join the Revanches pack. They would love it, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Just join Japan. Just join China. We're now in the Revanches pack as well, so that solves one of my issues from before. Fantastic. We only have 30 divisions. It's actually kind of sad. How much material do we have? 104. We have 114,000 rifles in 30 divisions. Okay, we're going to need more units than that. Uh, template one. Let's make you into, let's just say, a decent funny combat with the unit. Nothing too uh, crazy there. 
Actually, we'll, we'll keep it at 18. Deploy a shit ton of you. Get rid of you, get rid of you. And I think we're going to be ready to go. And all of you in this army. Split. Smaller armies. I'm really stunned that this is our uh, the extent of our armed forces. But do we have a navy? We actually do. Okay, this is important. Because what I want to do is I want to navally invade India. How do I do that? Let me see. Who is in our faction over here? Peggy is. Okay, so we're going to get a naval invasion order ready to go from, let's just say, here to... Let's just say this port seems okay. Bring these units over. Delete all your previous orders. Bring everybody over here. You guys are not assigned. Assign you into blue. Well, not all of you. Just one of you. There we go. And we will join the war against everybody. Absolutely. Is this really the entirety of our Air Force? No, you have, we do have some more. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to sign all of you into Purple Army for now. Get our, all of our units to where they need to be. We've all been assigned. We don't need more manpower. Honestly, the manpower we have right now, we don't need. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce that a little bit. Four more units on this. Sign you to here. Allow you when their Vosh is packed. And then we have Japanese Siberia. That's not really doing too much. Actually, no. What we, what we should do is we should invade North America. 20 divisions. Damn. Okay. A lot of divisions. I mean, we could send units to, like, Haiti. Like, may maybe that would make sense. It is navally invade North America. Four to eleven. Is this like New Orleans? Fifteen. Ten. Okay, so they do they do have cores going deep into uh into this territory. So we can't we can't just like navally invade them and just win immediately. Don't need more propaganda. Don't need any of you. Don't need any of you. Thank you though. That seems okay. So let's just let the uh, game run in the background. Infiltration next. Absolutely. What do I want? Things we, we're making too many guns. Give me more tanks. Now, everybody wants a non-aggression pact. And this should be everybody that's in the uh, other faction. What about you? If I kill you, that would free up a bunch of visions here. So you know what? Half of you, I'm going to send right here. Get them over there as quickly as you possibly can. Because again, India has up to 200. I mean, they could be at as low as 78. They could have as many as like 100, which, which is... What are our allies doing, by the way? The Hungarians, they did exactly what I thought they would do as soon as they became uh, not AI controlled, which is completely abandoned their post. But I'm looking at this, the situation in Europe, it's, it's got to end soon for them. They, they, they can't, I mean, they're doing pretty okay in the, in the Middle East, not happy with. Yeah, the, the Italians probably f f uh, sent, sent their entire focus on just getting them uh, feared out. Yeah, the, the war in North America is going to be very annoying. I, again, I would love if you would join our faction. I know it's probably, like, never going to happen, but it would be nice. Some allied units up here. What I'm going to do is a little bit cheaty, but it's going to make the AI function in a way that makes more sense. I'm just going to transfer these back over to Poland. And that should fix the AI a little bit. They had these areas before anyway, so it's, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, India, they don't really have that many units around here. Maybe India doesn't actually have that many units. Maybe I'm highly overestimating their capacity to wage war. You know what? Actually, let's just not even have Blue Army down here. 
Let's bring let's bring Blue Army to this front, and they're just gonna push their way deep in India, and just see what they can get done. Oh, oh, how many volunteer forces do we have? We're not the seventy-eight. Okay, we actually had a, a stupid amount of volunteers. Very cool. Well, I mean that that'll that'll solve our manpower issue a little bit. I'm gonna send you guys. Oh, where do I send you? I could send you to Russia just to clear that up a little bit. But no, I'm gonna send one of you right here in Hedjaz. The other one I'm going to send. I don't know. Gang, we could do another naval invasion. It's like we couldn't navally invade Australia, but I don't think that's gonna benefit us too much. And uh, we could try to fight in Africa. You know what, Kenya, give me military access. And then I'm gonna actually split you in half because I don't, I don't want a full 17 stack going over there, but a small, like nine divisions going into Kenya. I can live with that. And then you eight. I will bring over to Russia. Like, bring him over here. And just get to where you can as quickly as you can. It will take us a little while to actually get to where we need, but it shouldn't be that bad. Got a bunch of encirclements. Burgundy's probably going to end up falling again, but like with, it, with Italy out of the war, like that, that was such a major swing in favor of the Revanches pack. Like, you got no idea. Once you're all dead and India's dead, then we need to somehow make our way into into North America. Which will be tricky. Thing is, I don't know how many units are actually in North America. They could have shipped all their units over to into like Russia, for example. They, they could have brought their units somewhere else. Okay, it looks like they actually don't have their capital defended. That'll make my life way easier. Because once you're killed off, China and all of them can bring their units to somewhere else that'll be better for us. Hess has capitulated for, I think, the 15th time. And my entire navy should be deployed over here. All of you to here. Thing is, we don't have a large navy, but none of the AI has a large uh, navy either, so I'm not, not like too worried about it. Bring you up north. I honestly don't think they have another victory point other than that. For me, it's fallen. If Transcaucasia, okay, that's a little bit annoying. Armenia's doing. Armenia's actually having a little bit of a comeback, which is not what I wanted to see. Not even a little bit. You are this army. You don't have enough convoys for this. Okay, China, I need convoys. If you would be so kind. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, because I guess because we're an island, all of our supplies need to uh, be shipped off the island. Right, that makes perfect sense. What I probably want to do is just build a lot of naval bases for right now. And they're probably more important than military factories for the moment. Get all those done. Naval effort actually for the first time ever might be useful. Never mind, they don't give me uh, what I want. We're with Poland. None of you matter. Duplete effort. I guess we'll go for equi equipment effort uh, too. When will you be here? Because your supplies are four days. Frankfurt at Main. Okay, well, I mean, I'll take you. Okay, hello to you. We'll, we'll see what you end up doing. You might not do anything just because you're completely surrounded by hostile nations. But, you know, maybe, just maybe... They, they can get something done for us. More units on their way. 
thing is, we're sending a lot of uh, envoys on. You know, we don't need all this. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Just convoys for right now. It's clearly, like, the most important thing that we actually need. Can I build um, railroads in our allied territories? We can. I mean, they have, like, no supply hubs at all. Not even a whisper of a supply hub. Which is very, very, very cool. Again, you might be the only city. I think this will kill you off. It actually push your way pretty far into our country as well. You took all that land and you didn't defend your own capital. An absolutely rookie mistake. Inner Mongolia is in the Central Empires. A little annoying, but what can you do? Okay, because you are... West Francia. Or West Franconia, I guess, to be a little bit more specific. Yeah, bring you guys all down south. The board with India. I don't think they have any supplies in Tibet. You're all mountains. Mong Kwong is not doing anything of note. Persia's all oh, Persia's fallen. That actually is really bad. How have you managed to somehow win the war in the Middle East? Genuinely, I don't know. I think India sent like a lot of units to Russia. I, I, I don't think they actually have anything over here. Again, at least nothing substantial. I have a supply hub, maybe. We got a supply hub over here. Not that useful. Japanese Siberia, you can join the war. Sounds good. Of course, you are also building 1940 uh, boats, but they're almost already done, so you might as well just let the AI finish it. I don't know why they love boats so much. I'm not going to question it. What's how? How do you? How do you have no units over here? Maybe. Is the Democratic Front somehow going to make a comeback? They, they honestly might. Which is very, very terrible. You know what? Actually, delete this. I'm going to send you to the Middle East. And I'm going to have you guys move your way into uh, Africa. I don't know how long it's going to take for you to get there, but the, the sooner the better. And you know what? I'm going to deploy my garbage army. Of garbage units. I'm gonna assign you. I'm assuming we have another field commander. I actually no more uh, more generals. Okay, I guess we'll assign them like this for now. And for you, I don't even know where to bring you. I'm going to say like that for the time being. Kind of makes sense. Okay, you guys are ready for a naval invasion operation. I'm, and I'm ready to do that for you. Launch the operation. How many units are actually on this? Six? Okay, six is not bad. But we need to make sure them. I can't believe they took so much territory off of us. It's actually, like, a little embarrassing, to be honest. Okay, Lusitania's collapse again. We just, need, we just need to kind of clear all this stuff out. Lusitania is not doing anything. Special forces, not what we care about. Colonia is not in a faction, thankfully. Right, how many units do they even have? Okay, they actually don't have that many troops at all. I need you guys to advance immediately. Like, like this is, this is getting to be a little bit too much. Didn't they have anybody, in it, anyone actually defending their ports? It's hard to say. It, it's hard to say with how things are right now. 
Asia. You guys are almost here. Do we have enough, like, trains? I'm hoping the answer is yes, but I genuinely don't know. We do, okay. Not a lot of trucks, but... That's completely okay. I can't believe just how much of a fucking crawl. How much of a crawl it is to, uh, to do anything right now. How many men have died so far? We're at 6 million. Very cool. Okay, Hedjaz is still holding on. I think maybe we have to do, like, a naval invasion here. But it's not like they're going to, like, re-collapse. Benny has fallen. Not great. But again, it's not terrible. It's not, it's not awful. You guys are on your way. I'm going to bring all of you over here into India. Very aggressive. I'm guessing you don't have... No supply connection to capital. How is that possible? Is it because we don't have convoys? Yes, it's because we don't have convoys. Because they're all being used for... Uh, everything else. Do we have any other allies that would give me convoys? Like Poland. You might not have convoys actually thinking about it. Actually, no, you do. 27, I'll take it. Right now, we have 121 total, mostly for transporting troops. Some Indian forces. West France is capitulated, which is good for us. That's one of our enemies. You guys are on your way. Slowly, slowly, but surely. Don't call me surely. Okay, India, of course, in basically all of India is core India territory. I'm, I'm just glad we are able to actually land. The units here. Again, that's going to get, hopefully, some attention off of other fronts. What are you? Your watch is packed. Which is nice. Yeah, they're still all the way in the middle of Tataria. Again, like I said, it takes forever to do anything. You know, for right now, you guys just defend the home islands. I know I don't think anybody's going to be invading. But just so we can get supplies to where they need to be a little bit faster. The Casey has fallen. How how are you making this comeback? I, dem I demand to know answers. How are you doing this? Draw our lines like this. Kill Armenia. Trill, uh, kill Transcaucasia. We also have our units ready to go in Kenya as well. Kenya had 3 to 12. Not a ton, but enough that I can actually work with. I wish it's other smaller African states would also join our, our war effort, but uh, it's not going to be the case, is it? Also, did I actually change the game name? I just, I, I did, right? Very good. I didn't want to, I didn't want to be uh, looking like an absolute buffoon. Italy, do not take back Italy. Like, I worked so hard. I worked so hard to get that done. And you are all together. Japanese forces are on their way. And blue army is here. I was, uh, you know what? I don't think I want you on Russia anymore. I need you to defend. I mean, how close is Byzantium to capitulate? I mean, most of this is core. I'm gonna have you defend here. Just defend Istanbul. Hello, Keith Abbas. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? And absolutely no supplies. No, how do you have no connection to capital? Like, that's my big question. I'm going to have you guys instead convoy escorts. Is there like a straight or something we don't have access to? I'm 
Otherwise, I don't see how you don't have connection to capital. Maybe because there's no railroad in like a specific spot? I, I don't know. We can capture like another port down south. Or we can capture another port up north. I think those are both valid options for us. I don't want to go. I don't think. I think I want to go north though. Do I uh, can't cut? Take that next. You know it's over here now, which is nice. Um. You're gonna again. It's it's just so far away, right? Like, why is it going here? If I maybe if I block this, why did why do the uh, the classic cancel it and open it again? Does that work anymore? I actually don't know. Seems like the answer is no. I don't know how you don't have. I don't know how you don't have connection to capital. You very well should. Basically, we don't own the entire state. Like, that's my next best guess, but even then, I don't know if that really makes sense. I have to build, like, you know, what if I just build, like, a second port next to the first port? I don't think it's going to work. But, like, what if it did, you know? Hypothetically, like, what if it did? Okay, you guys are here now. You're gonna push your way up north, okay, my friends? You're gonna be as aggressive as you possibly can. Dislodge the Italians. I don't know how many troops they actually have around here. Hopefully less than whatever we have. Like, are you connected to the capital? You are. But you're not. Oh, you know, I know why. Because this is not connected to Audra's capital. Which is... Where the hell is Audra? Because that's not a core of yours, I don't think. Where's Audra? Do they have a claim? They do. They wouldn't give me control of the state yet. Now I realize, I forgot that's how supplies work in this game. Is that they've got to be collected. Where, where actually, where even would you be your capital? Atra. Is it one of like the northern countries? Or is it like one of you? Your Pegu. No, it was you. Your Atra. So I need to take this territory first. In order for that to work. But. Okay, so I just need to take enough so that this is considered mine. At least I think. Cause I can't I can't even request it until I uh until I have enough points here. Stay back. Send you forward. What I might do 